Okay, so this is update number seven. Um, we've got quite a few things to cover today. So just get started uh, and then we can just run through it. So we've added, as you can see, hopefully, um, different foliage, which is performing a lot better. So it means that we can add more dense forests and the foliage or the trees now react to the weather. So as you can see that the snow is actually falling on the trees um we showed before that the effect of the snow on the ground um but it also affects the trees when the snow melts the snow will disappear so uh, that's one of the um uh, performance updates and i don't know visual updates i suppose one of the main ones so um we've also added as you can see in the top right the uh, weather effects so it now displays the weather type as well as the current temperature which means that we are able to um, uh, have the temperature really affect the player so um, that will be added in a future update so if it's minus five then you need to either seek shelter or get um, warmer clothing so uh, we started adding a little areas like this just at random areas through the world so that it's not so empty basically um, so yeah you are able to find loot out in the world now uh, which will all be increased upon through future updates so uh, I think it just played in a past update then it's obviously ladder climbing uh, where you can climb towers or buildings or etc just to give you an idea and numerous little sort of other things that we've added um, aggressive deers and friendly uh, sort of wildlife so like this one will run away because it's friendly uh, you can kill and um, harvest meat and skin and things like that, but uh, there are no aggressive animals in the world. Uh, Zomcoin, which I think I explained in the last update, to buy resources from vendors. The safe zones is dropping more frequently now uh, in larger quantities also. So it just makes it that much easier to gear up, I suppose, if you can't find the items that you want. Um, one of the other major um, updates we've done is added a damage effect to the player screen so that when you take damage now, as you can see, on hit, and again, uh, and we've also added um, uh, attack animations, different sort of random attack animations to the zombies, so they won't just attack statically. Yep. And as before, you are able to loot. zombie when you kill them so the zombies are a little bit more aggressive now so they will attack from further away they won't follow you forever but they will follow Just halt! Who goes there? Don't. Okay. Let the guard take this guy out. There we go. Let's get some inventory full. Hang on. Let's just get these 
called up. Uh, I don't want that for a minute. Uh, I'm going to quit that. Okay. Uh, one of the other updates we've added is airdrops. So you are able to find um, walkie talkies out in the wild out in the wild I suppose but in containers etc so if I just hold this a minute and just get inside the base actually there we go and if I use that it'll call an airdrop to your location where you use the item So the plane will arrive shortly. Is that it? No, that's a bird. Or is it the airplane? No, it is the airplane. Okay. So this is the airdrop arriving now. This up here with the target is a bird. And more birds. And here comes the airdrop. There it comes. So the airdrop will fall by parachute, it'll land on the ground and it'll destroy after I've set it for 10 minutes at the moment. So let's just wait for that to uh, drop down. Uh, another thing that we've added to the map actually is we've started adding locations. So markers now where you get into the area will display on the map so for instance there's another marker here which hasn't been discovered yet uh, and also another one here so if we head to this location this will be another airdrop coming in which is set on a timer So there comes the second airdrop now. Okay. So if we start heading that direction, then you'll be able to see a little bit better. As you can see now that the, the weather's changed to cloudy, temperature's gone up, and the snow has disappeared. So we've got two airdrops coming in now. Let's head to this one so I can just explain and show a little better. And I'm very happy currently with the the change of the foliage. It looks a lot better. And it means, like I said, that we can add more dense forests and more realism to the game as well. Yeah. Uh, future update will also see um, animations for eating and drinking, but you know, all within all within time, you know. So again, we're heading to the location. It's still not discovered. When we get in range, it'll display on the uh, the compass at the top of the screen. And then it will display on the map. So there we go. We've discovered it now. So this is where or one of the airdrop locations. Which is the one that came in second. Uh, there. And the other one is just about to land in the base. Uh, one of the other major updates we've done is vaulting and mantling. So the player can now climb as well as climb ladders. Which again uh, is quality of life more than anything. 
uh, and a lot of people that I was speaking to wanted monthly so we've added it in so and it depends on the height of the uh, the object that um, you're attempting to climb how high you can climb or whether you can climb or not so okay that one's got a little while to go let's go back to the base oh actually no let's go yeah let's go this way to the base and then we can hopefully get some better gear more berries for now so that we don't dehydrate okay so that airdrop has landed in the base now Oh, safe zone, base, safe zone. Here we go. So, what have we got? Take a gas mask, get a helmet. out I'll it for a hoodie because you get more storage I'll take back the items that's it what a video okay so we'll head back to the other airdrop now let's see what that one brings Another marker. One moment. Here we go. Okay, so ahead, vehicle, uh, we've added driving. Um, so there are police vehicles with lights, with sirens that you can now drive. Not a backpack, but yeah, they are set in the item table to actually drop. But it's just been unlucky, really. Uh, take some more of that, take that, uh, and that's it for now. Okay, so yeah, if we just go back into the car, we can go to another area, which 
which is the second marker. This is like a farm area. There are zombies patrolling around here. Okay, yeah, let's just go into the house. Yeah, so like I was showing you earlier about the multiple battery. Uh, we'll also work on fences. Um, on taller buildings as well. Wood. Yeah. Let me just craft a torch uh, because it's going to be getting dark soon. Uh, we'll just go in and loot. Um, yeah, so I think that's about it, really. Uh, five days, yeah. Uh, different type of medical items as well, which will replenish different amounts of health, as opposed to the uh, bandage, as a comparison. We did that go there. So bandage will replenish 50 health. Small medical kit will replenish 150. So uh, you can still craft uh, bandages in a hurry, but uh, the other medical items will drop in the world. So uh, let me just change that just to show different clothing items. Here we 
we go. And oh, this way. And that's it. Okay, let's go back. We'll get our vehicle. Oh, zombie. Oh, where do I leave the car? This is the entrance. No, that was the other side. There's the car. Some water. Yeah, I think that's about it, really. So, more updates soon.